Hey, 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 what's up everybody? My name's Tony. I have to lose weight. This is my vlog. I'm at Pine Island. I'm back at Pine Island today. Gonna do a 15 minute walk, a little walk and talk, a little guided walk, whatever you want to call it. But now it's on you. It's on you. Get up. Uh, get your feet moving. Do whatever you do for 15-20 minutes. Let's get some exercise. Uh, I'm going to show you Pine Island. Uh, I got to switch over. I got this little camera here just so you can see a little behind the scenes. We're going to be filming with this. I got a little microphone. So yes, walk with me for 15 minutes or maybe 20. I don't know. However long it takes to look at Pine Island here in Hernando County, Florida. Uh, happy Wednesday. Here we go. All right. So I'm setting the alarm for 20 minutes and we'll start exploring so it was funny when I it's been a bit since I've seen the water so I'm excited to see the water and it made me think of the old uh, President Kennedy water quote I don't know any other way to uh, describe it so I'm looking that up on my phone President it's hard to walk and talk and work the phone Kennedy water quote. I wonder if that'll yield us anything. Oh, we got no signal here. All right, Google the President Kennedy water quote. You'll have to make it up for yourselves. I'll add it, I'll add it when I get home. How about that? But it talks about our connection with the sea, something like that. Uh, I don't know what body of water this is. I think maybe. Gulf of Mexico out there. Excuse me. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to walk around over here because the uh, that same sign. Well, I don't know. Uh, I made a video last week or over the weekend. We came out here just to see and we couldn't get in because it was at full capacity. Uh, I'll leave a link to that vlog from our cruising channel if you haven't seen that. But uh, the same sign was there. That they were at capacity so i got the last space i went ahead and said let me just come on out here and see what's what it's about 89 degrees so that's kind of interesting that's going to be the sound that we're listening for i don't know what the capacity is but here's a little bit of a look at the park here a little beach volleyball Then you got sand, you got like a beach. I'm on the road, I'm probably gonna be in somebody's way as they're trying to leave. I think I might stay on the pavement though, instead of getting sand in my shoes, but let's uh, we'll take a quick look at the little beach area. I'm gonna keep moving. I don't think there's a sidewalk here. No, it's just sand. So let's just stay on the road, see what all's going on. It is nice to be out in the sun. It's nice and warm. There's a lot of people out. Again, if this is only, like all the parking spots are filled too, so maybe this is full capacity, but it does look like there's, there's plenty of distance. People are able to stay kind of spaced out. I tell you what, it's gotta feel good for the kids, I think, to be out. In the summer and the heat especially if they've been stuck in the house for a while we'll walk on the sand a bit we got traffic coming Ooh, might be getting sand in the old tennis shoes but who knows kind of like being at the beach this is it's like cruising okay not really like cruising but one could hope I am excited Ooh, I already have sand in my feet that's kind of fun I am excited to be getting some steps in though I, 
I think we're only a few minutes in. I'm already huffing and puffing. Just a, a reminder that my fitness is out of whack. So wild. The older you get, the harder it is for that to recover. Go out here and see what's going on. It's got some pavilions. It's like you could bring your own chair and umbrella. more beach on this side too pretty decent I don't know what this little area <laughs> maybe it's like a little observation deck Ooh. have we been walking an hour yet I bet you it's only like four or five minutes if that <sighs> the manatee and the diamondback terrapin <laughs> People just out getting sun. Beautiful day here in Florida. So it's not super huge here. We've walked around most of it. Let's see what we're at. I set the timer for 20 minutes and we're at 14 minutes. So that's about six minutes worth of walking. Let's make the lap a couple times. So plenty of beach space. So this is the max capacity and so right now there's plenty of room. Whew. Walk over here and see the Snack bar. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no pets, no alcohol. It's an alcohol free beach. Five dollar parking. shower area over here Ooh, you can sprinkle it actually feels good looks like we got changing room then you got snack bar a little social distance us back at the entrance so not huge can walk around the whole thing in less than 10 minutes it's really pretty out here though a lot of cool houses how you guys doing moving them feet 11 minutes to go. Been walking for about 10 minutes. Feels good. Sweat is starting to happen. Ooh. Looks 
you got a little place here where you can put your kayak in. Walk out over here, take a look. So these are like intercoastals, I guess, to get out to the Gulf. Cause it's definitely the Gulf out beyond the beach there. There are some signs up that say, be wary of alligators. Nice little look over here. Birds. Anybody know what kind of bird that is? But it's like twice as hard to walk in the sand than on the concrete. Florida palms. There it is, man. Yeah, the water. Just remember the Kennedy quote that I couldn't remember at the beginning that hopefully I've inserted. No swimming in the fishing area and there's danger. Alligators and snakes. <laughs> Better look at the playground. Beach volleyball. Oh. It's a great little park again. Like, you can come out here, put a picnic lunch in your car, a little fun and sun, a little picnic. Got some charcoal grills. Something for the whole family. Don't forget your sunblock. That is one thing I did not bring today. What are you guys doing? Are you treadmill? Are you roller skating? Are you curling practice? Are you playing hockey? Are you scuba diving while you're listening to this? I don't know. Now I'm just going silly now because of the sun. It's a nice playground for the kids. For the kids. Ooh. Uh, we're getting close. We're less than 10 minutes. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, it's good practice for walking around cruise ports. Uh, hello, Boyd. No big waves or anything. It's not like being on the east coast of Florida. Just casual coming and going, a lapping of the water. I go out to the observation point one more time. All right, got so much sand in my shoes. See how we're doing. Seven minutes left. We can do it. Guys out there pretty far. Must not be very deep though, they're only about waist high. Trying to convince myself that I'm getting that endorphin spike in my brain because I know when I get done here I can go get coffee. This is my reward. Starbucks nonetheless. I've been settling for Dunkin' 
the last few days, but now I'm on the side of town with Starbucks. So I'm excited about that. Hit the parking lot again. Yeah, so really no empty spots. Oh, there's one there. So again, they're doing a good job. There's a lady up in the tower there with that neon shirt. She's telling people where to park. What are we gonna get? Maybe another half lap. Let's walk back this way. Different look. Feeling my legs a bit, my back. Excuse me. Uh, cool thing is, the more you do it, the easier this gets. So, just the beginning of the journey. Four minutes left to go. How you guys doing out there? If you made it this far, you've done at least 15 minutes of moving. Way to go, good job. Uh, it's not easy to get started, but uh, pushing yourself a little bit, even the least amount of what you do, will help you be able to go longer the next time. So again, if you're hanging all the way with me today, it's gonna be 20 minutes of walking. And as you can tell, I'm out of breath, but Few more minutes left. We'll finish it looking at Florida. Glad you guys walk with me today. I'll be back at the end though to close it out. Whew. I think I forgot to mention what time it is. It's about two o'clock. So not the hardest hottest part of the day, but still pretty warm. <sighs> Stay out of the, stay out of the way of the cars. All right, where are we at? Two minutes. around the playground one more time before we go back to the car. Whew. A little beach volleyball action. Very pretty out here, Pine Island Park, Hernando County, Florida, near Spring Hill, near Brooksville. Water on three sides. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. We got 50 seconds. Last minute.
All right, that's it. See you guys back at the car. All right. Did you do it? Did you get your 15 minutes in? I hope you did. Thank you guys so much. Remember, we got videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We exercise on Wednesday, so I hope you got it done. Leave a comment below. Tell me what exercise you did today or any day. Did you get 15 minutes in? My name's Tony. I have to lose weight. This is my vlog, and I'll see you on Friday for the next chapter of the Power of Habit book, chapter three. Come back next week and exercise again. Hit the like button. Bye. I uh, <laughs> really uh, don't know why it is that uh, all of us are so committed to the sea, except I am, uh, I think it's because, in addition to the fact that the sea uh, changes and the light changes and uh, ships change, it's because uh, we all came from the sea. And it is an interesting uh, biological fact that all of us have in our veins the exact same percentage of salt in our blood that exists in the ocean. And therefore, uh, we have salt in our blood, in our sweat, in our tears. We are tied to the ocean. And when we go back to the sea, whether it is to sail or to watch it, we are going back from whence we came. And therefore, it's quite natural that the United States and Australia, separated by an ocean, but particularly to those of us who regard the ocean as a friend, bound by an ocean, should be meeting uh, today in Newport to begin this great sea competition.